Welcome to the demo video on VCF Edge 9.0 Single Host Edge Site Deployment. For this demo, we have already set up VCF Edge Management Domain and Workload Domain. And we will create a new single host cluster in the Workload Domain. We start in VCF Ops 9.0 Inventory where we can see the management and workload domains deployed. We can see that we have a three node cluster deployed already in the Workload Domain. Navigating into the Workload Domain vCenter, we start by creating a new cluster. We provide a name for the cluster. Enable TRS and HA that will be needed for supervisor deployment and create the cluster. Once the cluster is ready, we add the ESX host into it. We provide the host details, accept the certificate and complete the host edition. Once the host is added, we configure the cluster. We provide the distributed switch details, add the VM next, and provide the vMotion details. We then update the vSphere HA settings to disable host failure monitoring and HA admission control. Disabling HA admission control is required to set up the single host cluster with supervisor. We enable VM monitoring and confirm DRS is set to fully automated by default. We complete the cluster configuration and wait for vCenter to apply the changes. We can see some alerts on the host around vSphere HA and missing data store. So let's start by creating a new local data store. We create a VMFS data store, provide a name and choose a local disk on our single host cluster. We can see the data store is created. Now the vSphere HA alarm remains. Hence, we click on reconfigure vSphere HA on our host and wait for HA to be configured. All the alarms are gone now. We will now set up some prerequisites for supervisor. We start by creating a new port group used for the workload network by supervisor. We then create a new storage policy for this newly created local data store that will be used within supervisor to assign storage. We select the enable rules for VMFS storage rule. Selecting fully initialized is important to ensure PVCs are realized. Our storage policy is ready. Now we are ready to deploy supervisor on our single host edge site. We select VDS as the networking stack and choose the foundation load balancer. We provide a name for the supervisor, select the newly created edge site cluster and provide a name for the vSphere zone. We choose the storage policy we created earlier. We provide the management network details. Workload network details. and the load balancer details. We are keeping the load balancer size as small and deploying two nodes for high availability. However, you also have the option to deploy as a single node. We choose the control plane size as small. You can even choose the tiny option based on your workload requirement. We can see that the supervisor is up and running. Thus, our single host edge site is now ready to host both VM service and container based applications on VKS clusters.